In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to take your um, contacts that you've collected in a form and create a Gmail group out of them. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've uh, opened up your responses and you have them in a spreadsheet so you can view responses in sheets. Now I have my spreadsheet here um, on my tab. And an easy way to find this in your drive, because uh, this spreadsheet and the form will always live in your drive, I make sure I star it. So if you click on that star there, uh, and, and then go to your drive, you'll notice there's a couple ways you can do it. First, you, of course, you can search for it if you remember what you've titled the form. The other thing you can do is click Recent. If you've just been in it recently, I see them sitting right here. There's the form, there's the spreadsheet. But um, that would soon uh, travel down if I haven't been on that document in a while. But I could always click on Starred over here on the left. And you can see I don't have very many Starred documents. Uh, my contact list is an important one, so I see it right there and I can find it there easily. Um, all right, so let's get to how, uh, now that you can find it easily, let's get to how we can make a Gmail group. So a couple things about your form. I had you do the student's first name and then last name. Uh, I, I like to change it at this point once everyone's filled this in. And I just click on the column and then uh, drag it over when I have the hand so that the last name is first. And I do this, um, you can... Um, do this just for some ease here and if you select the arrow down I can sort the sheet A to Z. So now I can have alphabetical listing of all of my contacts in here. You don't have to do that but this comes in handy to have some class lists um, this way as well. Uh, if I were to select any of these names now um, just by clicking shift and uh, holding the shift key while I click um, the the last name in the column, it'll select all of them. But we want to get these email addresses and put them in a, in a um, contact group so I can email all the parents at once. So I'll do the same thing. I'll click on the first name and then I will hold down the shift key and click on the last name and then I'll click command C and that will copy all of those names at once. Next I'm going to go over to my Gmail account and make sure it's open and up here in the top corner where it says mail I want you to click on contacts and once in contacts uh, you will be clicking on uh, new contact over on the left and with new contact instead of doing them one at a time I'm going to select this um, icon right here which is groups and I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call it the same thing sure I put the year. I've done this incorrectly and sent it to my former students one time. Uh, click OK and there my group has been created. So if I want to go to that group, um, let's see I've got a few of them on here. Um, my groups, here we are. I'm going to go to this group. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to find them over here. I didn't, it's not showing. There we go. It's this group right here. So I'm going to click on this group and it says there's no contacts in the group. Now remember I had uh, copied and pasted from my spreadsheet and I'm ready to just paste them into the group. So if I click on this icon that says add um, FIFO crew contacts, I can then just uh, paste them in command V and click add. And now I have them in my group. When I uh, want to email all of them, I'm looking at it tells me what group I've added them to. Uh, when I go to email now I can click back here where it says contacts and I can go to mail and compose. Go big with this one so you can all see. And I can click in here, the beginning of the, my contact group name. I feel crew contacts 2016-2017 and there they'll show up. But I definitely want to show you something um, that you should uh, be doing when you're uh, emailing your parents um, or any large group. I always think that you should do it in a BCC. So you can click BCC, which is a blind copy, um, so that uh, people cannot see each other's uh, emails. So I'll click there and do it. And then in the top, I'll just email it to myself. Um, there we go. And continue on with the email, your subject, and so forth, and then send.